can you eat rice and still lose weight? The number one thing on my list, which I know you already know that I'm going to talk about is... Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Delicious Cooking Series. Today we're going to be talking about all things rice and weight loss. Now when a lot of people want to go or embark on a weight loss journey, the first thing they think of is to ditch the rice because in their minds they think the excess carbs or the carbs in rice is what's making them gain unnecessary weight or making them fat. I think that this is a great misconception and I'm about to address it in this video today. The big question we're going to be answering today is, can you eat rice and still lose weight? Now, before we go into the whole concept of rice and weight loss, let me take a minute to explain to you how weight loss occurs. Now, weight loss occurs when you are on a calorie intake deficit. Calories are simply how your body measures the energy contained in the different foods that you eat. Everything that you eat has energy contained in it and your body measures this using calories. So everything you eat definitely has calories. Okay, so when you are on a calorie intake deficit, you are definitely going to lose weight. Now, how do you achieve a calorie intake deficit? This occurs when you are consuming way less calories than you are burning. Weight gain occurs when you're consuming way more calories than you are burning. So to consistently lose weight or maintain a healthy weight, you have to be on a calorie intake deficit. So for example, if you're consuming about 2,500 calories per day and only burning just 500 calories, over time, you'll definitely be putting on weight because you're eating more calories than you're burning. And that's why I say that dieting and um, uh, exercise work hand in hand so your activity level matters a lot your activity le level and how you're able to burn up these calories depend on um, different things and it's different for different people because different people have different body types different people have different metabolism rates um, different people have uh, different people have different lifestyle choices and all so what works for person a for example may not work for person B so, but to consistently be on a calorie deficit, you have to be burning more calories than you are consuming. I hope, I hope that makes sense. And that's why most times when I hear people say that to lose weight, it's 80% diet and 20% um, exercise, I totally disagree. I think it is, or I believe it is, 100% exercise and 100% diet because you need your body to move. And when I say exercise, I don't necessarily mean going to the gym to carry the weights or carry the, do the push-ups and all of those hard stuff. Exercise basically is just your activity level. What activities do you perform a day? What do you do? Do you sit down all day on your, on your couch or on your bed or are you always on the move? Now, being on the move doesn't necessarily mean you always just actively doing this, but the different things that help you build up your activity level, like taking, setting a goal to take 5,000 steps per day, um, maybe doing 100 sit-ups per day, just something to get your activity level up. And that's why I would always encourage to in, um, um, encourage anyone to um, get involved in a, uh, like a scheduled workout routine. So that way you're consistently keeping your activity, activity level up. And whether or not your goal is to lose weight um, or maintain a healthy weight, I believe that exercise is something that everyone should inculcate into their everyday routine. Because trust me, it does your body a lot more good than bad. It's, it's very helpful. Apart from helping you lose weight, it helps keep your energy levels up. It helps keep you super motivated. It keeps you extremely happy. I like to call it nature's way of pumping um, happy juice in your skin, in your body. It keeps you super happy. It keeps your skin fresh. It keeps you super, there's so many benefits of exercise and you can Google that up, but that's not the main point of this video. So I just wanted to explain to you how weight loss occurs. Now let's bring it back to eating rice and losing weight. Does rice deserve the bad rep that it gets for um, my people when they say, oh, it makes me, all the carbs in rice makes me add weight? Personally, I don't think so. And I'm going to tell you why. So first of all, let's talk about the health benefits of rice. 
Do you think rice just has carbs in them? And do you think the rice, the carbs in rice are totally bad for you? No. So rice is a major source of carbohydrates and fiber. Now, without carbohydrates, you wouldn't have energy to perform your everyday tasks. You need that energy. Rice provides that energy because it's a rich source of carbohydrates. Now, when you look at carbs in that light, you are able to understand that you need carbs to survive. There are six classes of food that you need. You need carbohydrates, you need protein, you need fats, minerals, vitamins, and of course, water. Carbohydrates is essential for your growth. It's essential for your well-being. Rice has lots of carbs in it that you need for your everyday life. So when you see rice as an essential, something that your body needs, look at it that way and don't look at it as bad carb because the carb contained in rice is not bad it's what your body needs so rice is a major major source of carbohydrates and fiber and of course fiber helps in a lot of ways it helps in bowel movement it helps to just keep your bowel flowing i think that's just one of the major things i know that fiber does for you so that's the first thing and then rice obviously has other health benefits Rice also contains protein. It contains up to 15 other minerals and vitamins. Like, did you hear that? It contains up to 15 other minerals and vitamins that your body also needs to function at maximum capacity. It's gluten-free, rice is totally gluten-free and it's a good source of B vitamins and it's very low in fat and sugar. And it also helps increase your energy levels. See, rice has a lot to it. It has a lot of positivities to it than negativities, and you would understand why in a bit. So I'm going to share with you some of the things that you can do to enjoy rice while on your weight loss journey. I believe that these are things that you can incorporate every day in your diet, um, and I'm also of the opinion that you do not have to give up or deprive yourself of the things that you love just because you want to lose weight. I don't believe in that. You can enjoy everything that you like and still lose a lot of weight and here is how to do it before we go on if you haven't subscribed to the channel you know exactly what to do click the subscribe button and the bell just right beside it so you can get instantly notified whenever we upload a new video and of course give this video a thumbs up if you like it okay all right so let's go into the things that can help you lose weight while enjoying a lot of rice or enjoying the favorite things that you like okay how can you eat rice and still lose weight? The number one thing on my list, which I know you already know that I'm going to talk about is portion control. <laughs> you cannot not, not, not do without this because truth of the matter is that even those things that are relatively low in calories, you still have to exercise portion control when eating them. If not, you're literally going to be abusing them and it will have a negative impact on your body. The same thing goes with rice. Portion control is very important when you are eating rice. A good way to practice portion control is to complement the amount of carbs on your plate with other things from other classes of food. I always advise that half of the content of your plate should be made up of vegetables. One quarter part should be made up of protein and the remaining quarter should be made up of carbs. Now, if you combine all of this together, you'll find that you still get to eat and you still feel full. Why? Because the vegetables keep you fuller for longer. Protein actually also helps with your bodybuilding and you find that you may not even need a lot of carbs. That's the rice that you're about to eat to complement the diet, to complement um, to, or make you, to, to make you feel full. So the rule is pretty pretty simple half of your plate vegetables a quarter part protein a quarter part carbs that's one way to portion control so the recommended daily allowance for rice is about one cup of cooked rice which is about 225 to 235 or 335 grams i'm not so sure of the exact figure but it's one cup one measuring cup of rice that is not small that is okay if you combine it with the right amount of protein and the right amount of vegetables that's portion control another way you can successfully portion control your meals is to deceive your mind or deceive your brain by using small plates if you use a big plate you will feel like oh i'm being deprived of something but when you use smaller plates to serve your meals it, it looks fuller your, your brain thinks it's a lot and it 
will satisfy you. It will do. So train your body to accept little portions of food. That's how I have trained my body over the years. So when I want to eat, I'm not concerned about the quantity of the food. I'm more concerned about the quality. And that's what portion control actually also helps you do. Again, it's better to eat um, smaller portions of rice at different times of the day than sitting down to, um, to eat one big mountain heap pile of rice at a go. Eat smaller portions. You can eat smaller portions of rice two to three times a day. When I say smaller portions, just small, small, small in bits coupled with other things to make up the content of your plates instead of just having a big pile or a big hill of rice. Do you understand? So portion control is the very first one. And with this, you can complement things on your plates with protein and vegetables and fat if possible. Yeah, so that's the first thing on my list. The second thing on this list to help you eat rice and still lose weight is to watch the other ingredients that you use when making a pot of rice. So a lot of people think that it's the actual rice that is making them gain the unnecessary weight. Meanwhile, it's the ingredients or the other ingredients used in preparing the rice that is actually making them gain all the unnecessary weights. For example, when you're making a pot of fried rice, and you're frying all your vegetables with lots of butter or lots of oil. You're adding cream to your to the rice using um, store-bought sauces that have lots of sugar and stuff in them. So you have to be conscious of the other ingredients that you're using to prepare the rice. Make sure that the ingredients are low calorie ingredients. So don't expect to fry your rice in lots of butter or oil and think it's going to be healthy. There's lots of calories contained in the other ingredients you're using as well. So be very mindful of the ingredients that you're using to prepare the actual rice. Okay, that's the second thing on my list. So the third thing on my list is the time of day you're consuming this rice. So to successfully or consistently lose weight, it's always advisable that you eat your, the meals that have more calories towards the earlier part of the day. So for breakfast, ensure that what you're having for um, breakfast has more or a bulk of the calories that you're going to be consuming for throughout the duration of that day. Eat it in the morning because that way you are able to burn it out before it's bedtime. But if you wait to eat the bulk of the calories in the evening or at night, chances are that you would go to bed without successfully burning out the calories that you have already consumed. So the time of day that you eat, that you're eating rice matters a lot. What time of day do you eat your rice? You can have rice for breakfast if you choose. You can have it for lunch if you choose. I'm not saying that you can have it for dinner, but be very mindful of what time you're having it for dinner. So don't eat rice at nine o'clock and go to bed at 10 o'clock. That's so wrong. Your body will not be able to digest from the rice you have taken before you go to bed. And that may lead to weight gain. So ensure that you're eating, even if you must eat it for dinner, ensure you're eating it at least three to four hours before bedtime so that you would have done some a little more activity. Like I said, activity is not you going to the gym. Activity is walking around the house, the house chores you do, the things that you do. Your mental work is also part of activity. So ensure that you're eating it three to four hours be before bedtime so that you're able to burn up the calories um, in the rice, at least some of them before bedtime. But my advice would always be eat rice in the morning for breakfast or at lunch, at lunchtime in the afternoon as lunch. That way, before it's bedtime or, or nighttime, you would have burnt out some of some or all of the calories um, using um, during your activity time. Okay? Does that even make sense? Does that make sense? I think it does. It does to me. <laughs> does that make sense? Yeah. So another trick that I like to use, which is the fourth tip on my list, this is my absolute favorite trick, is to add loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of vegetables to any rice dish I'm making. So for example, if I'm making a pot of fried rice, I always like to ensure that the quantity or amount of vegetables that I'm adding to the pot is more than the rice itself. That way, I'm deceiving everything in my body, my brain, my stomach, everything, because they'll think, oh yes, you're still enjoying fried rice, 
But guess what? You're eating more vegetables than rice. So pile up vegetables into any rice dish you're cooking. Make it a, make it a habit. Even, even when, if, if you're making a pot of jollof rice, try and put some veggies in it. Carrots, bell peppers, sweet corn, spring onions. Put it in there. Put some cabbage as well. Put everything in there. Put some onions, put some garlic. You are, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's a trick that really works wonders. That way you eat a small portion and get full than when you just leave it as just rice or a very little amount of vegetable. But, so try as much as possible to put loads and loads and loads of vegetables into any rice dish you're making. It's one trick that works for me, still works for me. That's what I, what, that's one way I'm able to trick myself into eating a bowl of rice without feeling guilty. Does that make sense? <laughs> so the last thing I'm going to address in this video is the types of rice. Now, which rice is best to consume? There are different types of rice. There is the brown rice and there is the white rice. Now, brown rice is simply rice that has the bran and the germ layer intact. White rice, on the other hand, is, the, is a type of rice that has been stripped of the bran and the germ layer, which means it's been processed a little bit further to amplify the taste, to amplify the look as well, and then maybe the aroma as well. So because of this, ideally, brown rice is healthier than white rice because the, the germ and the bran layer contains a whole lot of nutrients. It contains protein, it contains fiber, it contains, it contains some minerals as well. So when you strip off the rice of the bran and the germ layer, to, to make it white rice, you're losing a lot of the nutrients. You're taking out a lot of the nutrients from the rice. So that generally or basically means that brown rice is healthier than white rice. But does it necessarily contain lower calories than white rice? No, it doesn't. I think they contain about the same amount of calories. And in fact, it contains um, lower amount of protein, but it's still healthier. So my advice to anyone who wants to pick an option of brown rice or white rice would be choose whichever rocks your boat. Choose whichever makes you happy and whichever makes you feel comfortable. For example, sometimes I do, I do a lot of brown rice, but sometimes I also do white rice because you can't take away the taste. The taste is there. Like the taste of white rice is definitely always better than brown rice. And then some people find it very hard to digest brown rice. Don't feel bad if you have to consume white rice, but bear in mind the things I've mentioned, the, the, the tips I mentioned above, when you're consuming white rice or brown rice, bear that in mind. The portion control, cooking with more vegetables, the time of the day that you're eating the rice and whatnot, bear that in mind. But for what rice is best for you, yes, brown rice is more nutritious, but Choose whatever rice works for you. Choose whatever rice makes you happy. So whichever rice you decide to eat, trust me, if you keep the tips I mentioned earlier in mind, you definitely will still lose weight on your weight loss journey. Brown rice, white rice, whichever rocks your boat, guys. Enjoy yourself, okay? So you can see, guys, you don't have to give up the things you love just because you want to lose some weight. I don't believe in that concept. I don't believe in making yourself sad or bored because you want to lose weight. Sustainable weight loss is basically you burning more calories than you consume. So if you keep all the things I mentioned above in mind, or all the things I mentioned earlier in mind, you will definitely, definitely lose some weight while eating, whilst eating rice. And it's not just rice that has carbs, please. I need to also clear this up. Not just rice that has carbs. Um, your potatoes have carbs in them, your pasta has carbs in them, um, there's so many, even carrots, carrots has carbs in them. People will think that, like, yeah, carrots is a vegetable, but it has carbs, but it's healthy carbs, so hold on, okay? <laughs> so it's not just rice. When you're on a weight loss journey, you have to be mindful of a whole lot of other things. But if you keep the things I mentioned earlier in mind, portion control being the number one, you definitely would lose weight eating whatever it is that you desire, okay? All right, guys, I think my job here is done. If you think that I'm missing out something or there's something I didn't mention, please let me know. Let me know what kind of rice you also like to enjoy as well. Let me know if you're currently on a weight loss journey and if you're one of the people with the mindset that rice is what's making you fat. And let me know as well 
if you found this video helpful or if you found the information in this video helpful. Alright guys, I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, it's me, the Queen of Fun of Fast Cooking, signing out right now. Take care guys!